they smell that salt air? They don't smell out here. <laughs> I mean, it smells. It's just clean air. There's, you know, you know what you're smelling when they say you smell the sea. You're not smelling the sea. You're smelling the land. All that dirty, rotten crap that washes up on the beaches and rots and dies. That's the sea smell that you, that people, landsmen, talk about the sea smell. You get out to sea, there's no smell at all. Nice and clean. Okay. We thought we'd talk about our. We need a daily routine, huh? Yeah. Is that a daily routine? Okay. So. Today's our uh, sixth, fifth day at sea, and pretty much we're settled in now. Um, we go to watch as our day starts, we'll start at dawn. Usually Laura likes to be on watch at dawn, she likes the sunrise watch, so she's usually the one to start the day by turning off the running lights, right? The first thing we do. Yep. Turn off the running lights, what, check the bilge as soon as it's light enough to see down in there. Um, and then... Uh, when I get up, I'll come outside to tidy up the cockpit, do a visual check around everything out here, check the sails, trim anything that needs trimming, straighten up, throw the flying fish overboard, and, and you're down below doing your thing, right? What are you yeah. doing? Well, I'm generally down here uh, cleaning up after we are done with our bed. I pick Put the, the bedding away. Up and get everything all folded and, you know, we put stuff away that got left out in the evening. Yeah. So it's always uh, nice and tidied again. Uh, this morning I went through all the fruits and vegetables and made sure that everything's looking good. We've got one tomato that needs to be used today. Those tomatoes are amazing. Well, those bags, those green those bags. bags are those wonderful. tomatoes are like, uh, what, three weeks old now? Yeah. So. They're still fresh like they came right out of the store. No refrigeration either, by yeah. the way. So, yeah, those green bags. So then, Laura will, uh, you know, maybe slice up a piece of fruit. We, we ate the last papaya yesterday, but we still have lots of oranges and apples and stuff. Just have that for a sort of mini breakfast, and then uh, then we'll start uh, just doing a, you know, do a deck check, sail change, whatever we have to do during the day. And then uh, Laura does almost all the cooking, pretty much all the cooking. I might slice up a piece of fruit or make a peanut butter sandwich now and then, but. Laura's the one that's going to get breakfast ready, yeah? Pretty much. Yeah, you've done it a couple of times. But... Yeah, so this morning we had oatmeal. I like oatmeal. We have oatmeal often. It's good for you. Um, what's for lunch today? Uh, well, I said we have a tomato that needs to be used and an onion that needs to be used. So I was thinking maybe put those in a tortilla with some cheese. That would be pretty good. Sweet Kula onions from Maui. Kula onions from Maui, they're really good. Any avocado? Good. Yeah. Yama, yama. So are those uh, local avocados from Hawaii? Uh, yes, they are. I mean, they have so many avocados there. When I first went to Hawaii and I was at Schofield Barracks, I was astounded coming from California to find out that they paid people to come and haul away the <laughs> avocados. There's so many of them growing in the housing area. They planted avocado trees for shade, and in the officers' quarters areas, they uh, they had to hire people to come haul them away. Same thing, the coconuts. Can you flick that for me? Pitch that seed. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. Careful. Ew. Ooh, it's slippery. Yeah. Ew. Slimy. Yuck. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to grab it with your hand. Well, what did you expect me to grab Take it with? Take the knife and flick it. Yeah. <laughs> You have to be careful. Make sure you always have a three-point stance here, braced against something. Braced against something. Well, especially with these swells, I've almost got pitched on my head a couple of times. Yeah. So this probably looks really funny from your side. <laughs> I'm leaned over, but I have a solid stance. Hey, that looks good. Are you going to sprinkle a little uh, stuff on it? Uh, what kind of stuff? Salt, little dill. Salt, little dill. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. You missed. I blew that one. <laughs> uh, I can't do the salt, little dill. 
Okay, so it is okay to throw food waste overboard. And we're 400 plus miles north of the nearest land. So it's okay to throw pretty much everything overboard except for plastic and plastic lined cans. And we have a lot of mylar wrap stuff that, uh, mylar package stuff. You don't want to throw any of that overboard. But food waste is fine, paper is fine, cardboard. You shouldn't have any cardboard on the boat anyway, but if you do, it's okay to yeah, toss it over. We somehow managed to get a few last minute uh, guests on this trip. A little disappointed in that. Our roaches. Oh, yeah. Opened up the engine compartment and had a few of them come scurrying, scurrying out. out. Yeah. Where the, the heck? We went all that time. We haven't seen a single roach on board in the very, what, two days after we leave, we start finding yeah. them? Yeah. I think Not we must cool. have brought them on board with some of the fresh fruit and yeah. stuff. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go, baby. Ah, looks good. Got to put the camera down now. Say okay, bye-bye. <laughs> bye. How is it? It was very good. My honey made it. Those avocados are excellent. Yeah. So anyway, that's, you know, we're cruising along. We set our sails and that's our day. You know, during the daytime, usually uh, we'll split the day in half, daylight hours. So. And if I feel tired, I'll, you know, I'll come down and take a nap. Laura will come up here. Um, right now we have the rubber band steering. And you know, it's not very demanding, but somebody still needs to be out there. We need someone needs to be out here for a couple of reasons. We're on a mission, so we're going to be looking for tsunami debris and trash, and recording the locations of all that stuff. And then we're going to forward that information to uh, the University of Hawaii. They've given us a form to fill out, and not just us, but you know, pretty Every, much everybody. Everybody who, that's left. For... Everybody that's sailing north this year is uh, on the lookout for debris. And, yeah. We've heard some pretty impressive tales, <laughs> but we'll wait and see what we we actually find before we'll... Well, Jim said at what, 165, somebody found a partially submerged fishing boat still? Yeah, yeah. So there is stuff That's still not floating. something you want to run up on in the middle of the night. No, definitely not. Yeah. Um, so anyway, back to our routine. After supper, supper is usually just at sundown. What's for supper tonight? Have you thought about that yet? I haven't decided yet. So we decided we'd like to have a nice meal for supper tonight, right, honey? We did. Because it was nice and flat, it and the boat flat. was just cruising along, no problem. no problem. So, of course, as soon as Laura starts cooking, <laughs> the boat started rolling. Everything goes all over the place. We were rolling through 30 degrees or so, and oh well, you know, everything just went. But that's okay. Yeah. It's, it's not perfect, but then again, this is boat food. Yeah. One hand for yourself, one hand for the boat. Yeah, brace I your hip, brace your feet. usually make meals determined on the rock and roll, and if it's rolling too much, I don't normally do stuff like this, but when I started, we were going It was nice and flat. flat. I know. And then this roll started. As soon as I put that egg on it, it started going nuts. So, anyway. It looks delicious, honey. I can't wait to dig in. Alright. Good to go. Do we have a name for this dish? No, nope. we don't. <laughs> It's, it's a mess right stuff. now. <laughs> it's, but it's nice. We've got we got fresh avocado and uh, the tomatoes that are really tasty. Uh, uh, the camuela tomatoes are really camuela, good. Camuela, camuela yeah. tomatoes, kula onions. Yeah. Um, kind of like the snack we had this afternoon. Yeah. And, and eggs. With a little bit of egg on there and the toasted flap. Just get it while it's Lovingly hot. prepared by Wonder Woman, <laughs> who manages to do this on a boat that's pitching and rolling like crazy. After supper, we'll set the uh, set the tiller pilot, or set, maybe we set it before, depending on conditions, and go to watches, usually around 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock, right around sundown, depending how late that is. And we'll just take turns, three hours. We've been doing three hours the last week, uh, I mean, the last, well, the last two months at sea, when we're cruising around the islands and stuff. We go to three-hour watches at night and do four of them. Each of us take two, two, two three-hour watches at night get through the 12 hours, 8 to 8 usually. 
and we modify that as needed. I'm thinking, you know, we're going to have a lot of daylight, so we may just go to three three-hour watches or something. Yeah. Or two four-hour watches. It just depends on what we get. Or like Claudia, she just does eight hours. Eight hours. You want to do eight I hours? Know. Let me sleep. <laughs> I love you, but not that much. <laughs>